right now you cannot upload a screenshot to Windsor, which is quite embarrassing given the competition like Cursor AI and Bob.new, they do have a native screenshot feature. Essentially, you can upload a screenshot and then you can use that to emulate or replicate a design and also it is very useful for debugging a problem. But we don't have that in Windsor, which is quite unfortunate. I believe Cody will eventually add the feature, but it is not today. Today is 26 November 2024, but my money is they are going to add the feature before next year. That's my prediction. Anyway, so how do you actually solve this problem? You have a screenshot of a website that you want to recreate using Windsor. So how do you deal with this problem? Well, there is actually a simple workaround for that. If you actually upload a picture to Cursor AI, what's going to happen is that they are going to use AI to analyze the picture or analyze the screenshot. And then eventually the AI will produce some text describing the picture and the text will be used by the AI coder to produce the response. And that is something that we can do right on AIs like ChatGPT and Cloud and also Gemini. So I think you know where this video is going. In a sense, you can upload a picture to ChatGPT and then you can copy the response from ChatGPT and then you can put that response into Windsor. But of course, you need a proper prompt in order to get the best response. So without further ado, let me show you how you can upload a screenshot to Windsor. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is that you have to open a document or open a website that you want to take a screenshot on. Uh, in this example, I'm going to take a screenshot of this online tool called Percentage Calculator. So basically, I want to recreate this tool in Windsurf. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this tool and then I'm going to fit that screenshot into ChatGPT or other AI models. In order to take a screenshot, you can use whatever program you find the best. In Windows, there is a sniping tool. There is also a print screen method if you want. But I'm going to be using a software called PicPic. It is my favorite software to take a, take a screenshot. Uh, it doesn't really matter what software you're using. Uh, I think this is just a lot easier. And after that, this uh, this picture is automatically saved to my computer, so I don't have to do anything else. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to open Perplexity. Uh, again, you can use any AI model. It could be ChatGPT, it could be Cloud, it could be Gemini, it could be any model that allows you to upload a picture. So I'm going to drag and drop this picture, the screenshot from this website, from Perplexity. And now we are going to insert the prompt. This is probably the most important part. Okay, this is the prompt that I'm going to be using. You are a UI slash UX designer. The following is a screenshot of a percentage calculator web app. Your task is to analyze the screenshot, understand every single section in great detail like text, position, color, shape, etc. Provide a paragraph description about the look and possible functionality of each section. But this is not the final prompt. I'm going to add another line which is very important. Okay, this is an additional prompt that I add to ensure that the response is as detailed as possible. The extra prompt is I want to explain that like how a novel describes a scene. This last section is the one that literally changes everything. So previously I wasn't using this prompt but when I added this prompt it makes the response a lot more detailed and actually something that the Windsor AI can understand. And the reason behind it is actually very interesting. If you ever read a novel, you know that when the author trying to describe a scene, they are going to go into great detail to make sure that the reader can understand, the reader can immerse themselves into the scenery. Even though novel has no picture, it has no illustration, but I do see why people love reading novel. It's because when the novel trying to explain something, they're going to spend multiple pages just to explain a simple thing and that is what makes that technique very important to be implemented into AI prompting. After that, you can hit the enter button and let's see what it will come up with. All right, this is the response that Perplexity or in this case, GPT-40 is giving me. It is very, very long, even though this is a very simple uh, calculator app, but look at that. It's, you know, there are multiple paragraphs just to explain this simple percentage calculator app. So I'm going to just copy this prompt. Sorry, I'm I'm going to just click the copy button right here and I'm going to open Windsurf. So let's start a new folder and I'm going to navigate right here. Let's open a new folder and this is let's say percentage cal calculator. Hit enter and select folder. Okay. All right. Now I'm in a brand new workspace in Windsurf and I'm going to just paste the response from perplexity to this uh, cascade section and I'm going to remove this citation section. 
section this is actually a residue from perplexity and after that i'm going to ask the ai to generate an online app similar to the one that i was asking to perplexity to describe i just added this extra prompt to windsurf so it's essentially just telling the ai to create this online app and i guess i need to change the screenshot here into something like web app okay okay this is the prompt uh, i didn't change anything this is something that the gpt 40 ai come up with so that was the visual interpretation of the screenshot and after that i'm going to be selecting cloud reaper personas as the model make sure to select the right node and let's hit enter okay now just wait for the ai to finish its job finally let's click accept all and we can start testing the tool that the ai just created based on the screenshot description there you go this is the tool that finisher just come up with based on the screenshot description that we got from chat gpt or from perplexity so uh just to give you a comparison this is the original website and this is the recreation not exactly the same but i would say it's pretty close but before we get into that let's try the feature uh, because after all this is supposed to be a functional tool that helps people to calculate a percentage so let's start with what is the percentage let's say what is the 25 percent of 375 makes sense and let's try uh 37 is what percent of 333 enter 11.11 percent .11%. so far so good and what is the percentage increase decrease from let's say 50 to 80 60 percent so yeah all in all the tool is working and we just use a screenshot via a perplexity and after that we copy the description from perplexity to windsurf and then eventually it's creating this online tool pretty amazing right now this is definitely not efficient because essentially you have to jump around between one software to another just to get the description of the screenshot but i believe in the near future windsurf will eventually add a screenshot upload feature just like cursor and just like bold.new AI. So far, I didn't see any indication that they will have that, but I believe it will happen. I will update you in this video comment when Windsor finally added the upload screenshot feature. But so far, this is the only workaround that is available. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. And if you like this video, or if you want to know more about how you can prompt an online app or a website without any coding or technical knowledge, then please consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.